Hello everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Brenda and David. Tonight, David and everybody, I'm going to make what's called cracked chicken. I'm not going to do mine right, of course, but I'll tell you what, it's usually cooked in a slow cooker. I'm going to bake mine. It's called what? Cracked chicken. Huh. Who knows why they named it that, okay? So first off, let's get on with it. I'm hungry. Let's spray this pan a little bit on the bottom, okay? You don't need very much. But you don't want it to stick. And I've already got it, one of them done, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, mine ain't exactly even, but I guess it's good enough, close enough. Did you wash that old chicken? Uh-uh, I never no. do. <laughs> I know better now. I hope. Okay, so you, you're you supposed to beat this chicken down. Just beat it, beat it, beat it. But you can do it another way. I don't like doing it that way. Probably nobody likes doing it that way. And I try to clean everything I can off of it, but I left a little bit. And this kind of knife right here, I like it for going through a piece of meat like that. So let me see if I can get this anywhere close to even. The other one I didn't do too good. What, what was she talking about, about beating it? What was that all With about? With a meat cleaver. Why? To get them down the same size. Because it's a big old piece, and you don't want them real thick. But it's a big old thick piece, David. Look mm -hmm. how thick that oh, is. Oh, you mean thin it down before you cut yeah, it or something? Yeah, I'm doing thinning before cooking. All right, now there's my chicken in there. I had a couple little pieces I was keeping. Let me throw that in the trash. Okay, next is something to go on top of it. Let me get everything going here and wash my hands real quick. I thought I smelled bacon cooking. Is that for me? <laughs> That's the fat off of it mostly. I'm not going to buy a any bacon no more. It looked real good and I couldn't get the back piece off. Yeah. But anyhow, you know how it is. I shouldn't do a name brand, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm not buying it no more. It tastes good, but... I don't eat that much fat, so it's more of a waste. I'm sorry, I need a bowl. <laughs> well, we're a little teeny weeny kitchen. You got to move around a little bit. I know it. Let me get just a small one now. I'm gonna take a thing of cream cheese. Oh, one more thing I want to do before I get this going right here is I want to season my chicken now there is salt from the bacon I just put a little bit of salt and pepper and some garlic and David found me something at Walmart I had looked before and I couldn't find it Whoa. I'm not going to use that much salt because you got bacon a little bit I should have used that pink salt and some garlic I put, I, I'm very generous with that garlic, and I'm going to put just a little bit of, of, I don't think most people use this, but I love it. Paprika, I use it on so much stuff. Paprika and chili powder, that's my thing. I don't need as much as I just dropped right there. It doesn't matter. It'll still be good. Okay. In this bowl, I'm going to take a block of cream cheese, and right now, let me get that... Sorry about that. Let me get that oven to baking at 400. So we're going to do 400 on this. I hope that's room temperature enough. Should be. As hot as it is in here, it's probably about to melt. Right. Well, it's got to be softened. You can even melt this in the microwave if you want to. But I think it's soft enough. Watch me have to work myself half to death trying to get it to get it right and wished I would have put it in the microwave some. I like to get it all off of there though. Okay, I'm gonna take um 
You know what? Before I do that, let me wash my hands. You just did a minute ago. I know, but I want to make sure they ain't got no chicken on them. I don't think they do, but anyway, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do first? Oh, I'm you didn't want to re-corrupt corrupt that bag, I no, guess. No, because so. I'm not going to use it at all. I need a hefty spoon here. And that ain't hefty. It's going to bend. You're going to try to mash it? Yeah. It'll mash just fine. But I wanted to pre-mash it just a little bit. And then put my stuff on it. Or in it or whatever. This is so good, y'all. I'll tell you what. It might not look pretty when you're making stuff. But you ought to try it. I'm going to put, like most don't. What is that? I'm going to put a little bit of chopped up real fine as you want it, you know, in here. I had a couple of tablespoons probably. What is it? Sweet onion. You can use the little green onions, but I didn't have any. I forgot them when I went to the store. But I like these. This is my favorite. And probably about a half a cup or so of cheese. And it's supposed to be about four or five slices of bacon chopped up. Ooh, give me a piece of. Oh, yeah, now you're getting to the good part. Oh, I know. I know you like that. Look at that. You can't... I forgot to put it on there, though, but I ain't going to eat all that. Uh-uh. Some of it, but not all of it. Babe, you're not going to believe it. I didn't even take it all out. Look. Look at this. <laughs> you want to eat that? I'm eating it over here out of this pot right here, whatever you got left over. It wasn't even ready yet. Let's put this other thing too. But sort of, so, you can put a couple tablespoons or a package, you know, whichever one you want to do. Well, that's dip. Yeah, that big old thing of it's like $10. That's it. That. You didn't tell them what it was. I did tell them. No, I didn't. It's ranch. I'm sorry. It's ranch dip. Sorry about that, everyone. This old spoon ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna have some extra dishes, but that's all right. This one ain't gonna do it either, but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I can't, I just can't. What? I need something bigger to do it with. Now, there we go. You gotta mix this up real good. That cream cheese will get probably a little bit. Okay, and we'll do this. Why ain't I using my stand mixer? I don't know. I don't either. You didn't use it on, was, was going to do a cookie thing for the 4th of July, but we had some technicalties. Technical mm -hmm. difficulties. So, uh, we hope everybody had a good 4th of July. I do. But... We'll do the cookies on another show. I want to thank everybody for the cards and the gifts and the letters. It's so nice of you to think about us on birthdays. And Nettie, of course, Nettie, I always love the things you put together for us. I oh, know, I was just thinking about that. She puts a lot of effort into it, making these cards, and they're beautiful. And she cuts little things out of, of magazines and everything like that and it is so nice oh yeah she does an excellent job she really does yeah she makes some of the coolest so, stuff i'm trying to do this right here <laughs> mm -hmm. she's so sweet thank you natty we love you natty you're very thoughtful and kind and i know you're a good christian woman well let's see What? Was you snapping your finger at me? No. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes he's like... <laughs> That's the cameraman. They're always telling you, hurry up. Let's That's... get on. Move on. Don't tell that. That's the Hollywood. He tells everything and I can't tell nothing. I'm not telling nothing. <laughs> what are you supposed to be talking about anyway? Nothing. Just anything you want to. Now, <laughs> it will be hard. 
This is going to be hard, hard, hard. You spoon it over your chicken. It's awful thick, isn't it? Yes, yeah, thick. You know, you can. I want mine thick, though, because it's going to melt. That, that's going to melt. And just work with it. You'll get it. Don't give up. You'll get it. Spoon some on each one of them. That needs a lot. What you're trying to do when you're cutting those chickens is keep them about the same size. And so it'll cook quick at about the same time and that kind of thing. And that, it'll cook quicker. And, um, of course, this is going to go in it real good. Look at my hands. Well, I use my hands when I cook, too. I'm trying to hold the chicken in place while I spread it out. <laughs> That's okay. But if you if you melt that cheese in the prior, you would pour it over here. But I like mine to stay like this. It's going to melt. Now, you would do this and put it in the crock pot. And I don't know, cook it for... If you cook it fast, it's four hours, I think. And if you cook it slow, it's eight hours. And you said crock pot? Yeah, a slow huh. cooker, crock pot, whatever you want to call it. Um... Then you do the same thing. You put it all in there. You put the chicken first and then put all this on top of it. And it's going to cook. And when it's done, you take a fork and a couple of forks and tear it up in little pieces. I don't know why they tear it up, but I guess that's why it's called cracked. The chicken ain't cracked. It's ripped. It should be called ripped chicken. Okay, that's pretty good there. I don't have as much on that one right there, David. I want it in. There we go. Got you some more there. <coughs> okay. So, we're going to cook this on 400 for 20, 30 minutes. Whenever, however thick your chicken is. And you can take that chicken on down real thin if you want to. You can still beat it. In the end, it's going to have to cook longer if it's thick. And, um... When you put it in the crock pot, it's got to tie it up anyway, so it don't matter. Just cut it. Now. I'm starved. I haven't had a meal in three days. Four days. You ate yesterday, didn't you? Or did we? We just had snacking. So and hot, we just snacked, I believe. Cause I got back. Seems like I cooked something. I've been going to the swap meet for a couple of days and and been nibbling on knickknacks. I knocked that over, whatever it is. Yeah. Okay, y'all. I don't cover it up or anything. So let's put it in there and see what we get. Uh, some people they do that green onion. And they chop it up, and they just lay it on top and cook it with it or don't. It don't matter. Okay, let's do the timer. Bake time. That went quick. All right. Okay. Check we'll back. see y'all in a few. Check back in a few. Got yep. it. All right, it's time to take it out. I went ahead and let it do 30 minutes cause in case I didn't get them good and even. Whoo, that heat don't feel good today. <laughs> Wait until I can see. Ooh, that looks, looks good. Looks like a casserole. Look. Oh my goodness, that looks delicious. And it Got to sit good. it down, dear, getting hot. It smells good too. It smells so good. Ooh. Okay, now let's find a way to get it out of there. I like using, I like these. That ain't the one. Where are you at? Where What'd you call it again? Mashed up chicken? No, I didn't, but you can you can shred it all to pieces if you want to, no matter how it you cook it, but I don't. Shred it chicken or What do you mean, what do I, what do I, let's make sure it's done. How do you know? See if it's done inside. Look how much the chicken's tying up real easy. It's done. <coughs> okay. 
Oh, I got two wanting in, Daddy. Can I let them in before they change their mind? Yeah, let Come the sweeties on. in. Come on. They smell that good, Come on, good old Appalachian cooking with Brenda Vittles. There comes one of them. Goes one out, one in. Let's finish our show up. So, anyhow, this is done. It looks good. I'm going to find David a big one. A big we had um, the other evening, I don't know if I've told this, it wasn't too long ago, and had a raccoon and, uh, and getting ready to attack Nipper. And she lunged at it and it lunged at Nipper. And Brenda hollered it for me. <laughs> So I went out, went out the back door here, and I got BB uh, Brenda's BB gun here. There's something I ain't done yet with you, um. And that's her BB gun here, and and I shot it. Thought maybe it would scare it away, the raccoon. And lunged it. And the only thing it did is come after me, and <laughs> made it mad. <laughs> okay, at this point. So I bet that thing had rabies, probably. Probably do. I didn't see it foam or nothing. It just smelled something it wanted. It was some banana peelings in the water in a jar, and I guess that's the only thing I know it was there. I never feed the cats out there or anything. Look, most everybody put something green on top of it at this point, but guess what I'm going to put? How about that? Looks nice. Looks yeah. pretty. It does look good. Yep. Well, here you go, my husband. Looks like a restaurant quality there. Yep. You want a piece of tomato in with yours? Where's your little cucumber at? Oh, uh, this is my very first cucumber. Something pulled them through the fence and ate them, so I had to wait a while. And when it got this big, I got it. <laughs> I put store bought that I already had peeled, an uh, English one. So anyway, let's let you give this a try, husband. I hope it's not. Um, I think that ranch and tomato would go good. Spouse. You can put hot food in your mouth like that. I don't know how, but you do it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. You can put you can put up chopped parsley or whatever you want on wow. there, but I thought these cool tomatoes would look pretty on there. That is super duper good. Maybe Chef Ramsay would do that. I don't know. I don't care. I don't care it much for him. His mouth is too dirty. Um, that is super duper good. And there's uh, yellow squash, which is homegrown, and there's broccoli and peppers and lettuce. Did I put any onion? If I didn't, I'm going to. I got anybody who likes chicken. This is a whole new world for you. <laughs> this is really, really good, and I re oh, highly recommend God. it. And that's all you made. I can eat all that myself. Well, you want me to put your nothing on here? Shoot you. Yeah. Okay, I'll put your nothing. Well, everybody, I want to thank Heck all yeah. the new subscribers for joining us. We're so glad to have you. And um, thanks well, thank again for, for the cards yeah. and the letters, and it's so sweet that y'all are nice enough to send birthday cards and everything and we appreciate it we hey really i do. just had an idea what? i know there's a lot of folks been wanting you to write them back and you can't do it you know you've tried you've done a few of them i've done you? a few you've done a few but what if i was to get you a typewriter or something could you i mean you could still type good probably i don't know right now but this one's trying to go under i hope it don't do it but and look i had a little tiny place there and I don't know why them places come like that. They just do. I think it's medicine. And uh, they were a whole lot worse on this arm. They're going away. Look, it was a bunch of them. So I guess it's what I take for RA. It's methotrexate. And that stuff's, that, that stuff's poison as it is. All of it is. Sometimes I wonder if you'd be better off not taking none of that stuff. I don't want to be crippled. I know, no sooner than I have to be, and I'm not, I don't want to be. <clears throat> it's a big, hard choice. What would you do? Would you take the medicine? It gets in the lining of your heart and your lungs, and it messes all your joints up. When you get it, you start getting bursite. Any kind of inflammatory thing you can get. I get bursitis everywhere. I can only wear these kind of shoes. I need a whole bunch of <laughs> all different colors. These are easy spirits, but... I've got a couple pair that needs a new sole on them, so I'm going to get a hold of the Easy Spirit tomorrow see if they'll send them. I hope they will. <clears throat> what happened to those ones I glued up for you? 
Do these they? are really bloody where I've still got them. I wear them. I wear all these. Do I've, they hold up? I've got different. I've got uh, gray. I've, I've got a pair of gray ones. And I have some brown that's wintertime. They're dark brown. They're like leather or something. I don't know. Let me pick that up. I don't want nobody to fall on it. Oh, is it good, David? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> For real. Really well, good. you all. Uh, please share. Share with the whole wide world our page. We're trying to build it now. We're going to try to get it going here real quick. So anyway. Yeah, as soon as I slow up a little bit from work or something yeah. other i'm getting to where i can't hardly do anything anymore myself well right now but, he's going in real early but he's getting off real right. early and he's off on the weekends and it's so nice i like it we'll get a whole bunch of these shows on or something get some good things going here hopefully for long yeah a miracle happens all right well y'all this is all we're having with our chicken there's plenty i was gonna make my mashed potatoes he said no that's enough i like this kind i like i like ranch Italian. and she likes that and kind. I like that right there, Catalina. All right, okay, I'm ready. We'll see you soon. Yeah, we'll definitely see. try it. It's really That's good. That's right. We love you all. We'll see you real soon. Bye.